Hey guys, it's Sean. Today, we have a pretty exciting video. I'm going to be doing a deep dive case study analysis on seven dropship stores and what makes them so successful. In addition to revealing each store, I will dissect how these stores have effectively acquired their customers and what they've done in terms of marketing and branding to get to where they are now. They are from many different niches and have all sorts of dropship products that blew up. Some of these stores have likely transitioned away from dropshipping to wholesaling or buying in bulk as they have grown, but that's what makes them even better as case studies. The transitioning from dropshipping to wholesaling is something we advocate at Salehu, as that is where the dropshipping space is headed. Currently, six and seven figure dropshippers are focusing on branding and treating the dropshipping fulfillment model as a way to just test products. After that, just like these stores I'm about to show you, they buy wholesale or in bulk to scale their products and become a more established e-commerce brand. Now let's get into the seven successful dropship stores. Before we get into the video though, let's announce the winner for the lucky draw, where the prize is a one-year free membership to Sailhood Directory or Sailhood Dropship. We ask you to comment your greatest challenge in your dropshipping journey for a chance to win. The winner is LA Lady. Just email us at partners at sailhood.com with a screenshot of your YouTube comments history, which you can find on Google My Activity, and let us know which tool, Sailhood Directory or Sailhood Dropship, you would like your free one-year access for. Now let's take a look at the first dropship store. The first dropship store is Articture, who is in the home improvement space. Their site gets tens of thousands of visits per month, as we can see from data from SimilarWeb. Now, of course, we cannot confirm whether they still do dropshipping, but as we can see, some products of theirs, like this Light of Life lamp, can be found in sale to dropship, which will provide us pre-vetted AliExpress suppliers that we can integrate to our Shopify store. Their exact same lamp can be found with this particular pre-vetted AliExpress supplier. We can then just integrate the product to our Shopify store using Salehu Dropship and dropship the product just like Articture. However, we can see from the Articture's product page, this lamp has professional photographs taken for it, which is why you should consider getting a sample of the product yourself so you can do the same. Nowadays, customers are quite intelligent and can tell whether a store is dropshipping products. So to squash that suspicion, it's always best to take professional, original photographs of your products. Like I said though, Articture has probably transitioned away from dropshipping as we can see that all their products have professional photographs taken and with the volume of traffic they have, they would have had to stock up in advance to prevent logistics issues. This is why it's best to use a tool like Sailor Directory that will allow you to tap into the 8,000 plus pre-vetted wholesale suppliers from all over the world. We can also reverse engineer how our picture got to where they are by checking out their social media channels to see how they promoted their products. If we take a look at their Instagram page, we can check out their reels to see how they promoted the light of life lamp. In the video, we can see that an original video was used and their lamp even has their logo on it, which tells us they are no longer dropshipping the product as they are branding it now. Normally, when dropshippers brand the product, they do private labeling whereby they get to put their own brand on a generic product, but they would have to buy in bulk to do so. The next successful dropshipping store is Cloud Sharks. Let's check them out. As we can see, their signature product are these shark slides, which can be found on Sailhood Dropship's pre-vetted AliExpress supplier. However, they have seemed to already have transitioned away from dropshipping as they are already selling original products. Also, do you notice how branded their store is? The design of the website is very custom to their brand and even their products have branded tags to establish them as a brand rather than a drop shipping store. This is another proof that you need to treat drop shipping as a way to test products, not as a lottery machine to get rich overnight. The best drop shipping stores are the ones that transition away from drop shipping to buying their products in bulk from wholesale suppliers like the ones we list in Salehu. It is no wonder why their site is doing so well with tens of thousands of monthly visits, according to SimilarWeb. If we take a look at their social channels, we can see that they are already crushing the competition by advertising on various social media channels. Many dropshippers rely on just one or two social media channels to acquire customers, but CloudShark is on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and they are even the first search result when we search for CloudShark on Google. I also want to bring up that it's always a good idea to identify your competitive advantage before selling a product. After this video, don't just copy exactly what these stores are doing. Instead, ask yourself how you can do something better that they are not doing. For example, can you sell a similar product that has better features than CloudShark? 
Is there an audience that Cloud Shark isn't tapping into that you can tap into instead? Copying won't be good for you in the long run, so be different by finding a unique selling point for your own store. The next successful dropshipping store is Sleepband. Sleepband is a one product store that sells sleep headbands that helps those who struggle with falling asleep. The Sleepband store was actually made by a seven figure dropshipping YouTuber, Jordan Welch, but has now been sold to another company according to Jordan Welch. As we can see, just like the other two stores we mentioned earlier, Sleepband has branded their products already. But if you want to find the generic version of the product, you can because it is available on sale who dropships AliExpress supplier. We can also see that Sleepband has branched out of just selling their core product. Now they also sell other related products like sleep aids and bedding. They even sell variations of the Sleepband, which can do too for your dropshipping store. For example, if you find a competitor's product, look for a variation of the product to sell rather than selling exactly what they are selling. You could try to sell exactly the same product if there aren't many competitors, but if you notice that your social media channel is being flooded by competitors selling exactly the same product, it might be a sign to sell something slightly different. Now, if we take a look at their Facebook page, we can see that they are relying heavily on influencer marketing to drive traffic to their store. Post after post, we can see that they are featuring influencers using their product and really trying to build a community around getting good sleep. Influencer marketing is something we talked about in our 14 Dropshipping Marketing Tactics YouTube video, by the way. So check it out if you want to learn more about it or want to know other ways that you can promote your dropshipping store. The next successful dropshipping store is Fruity Bullet. Fruity Bullet went viral on TikTok and has almost 1 million followers. If we take a look at their website, we can see that they have tens of thousands of monthly visits according to SimilarWeb, and they just sell one product, this juicer. This juicer is something we featured in our six trending summer products YouTube video. You can check it out here and also check out other videos where we talk about other trending products that you can dropship for different seasons. Unlike the other stores we went through, they have yet to offer other products in their catalog, but they are already starting to build a community as they are creating recipes for their community to use. The best thing about their store is their product page. As we can see, it is branded and showcases the best features of the product, has tons of reviews, and even has a table to compare their products to competitors. All that effort is fruitful as they have built a strong following on social media, with tens of thousands of followers on Instagram and almost a million followers on TikTok. All their TikTok videos even have high engagement with tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of views per video. And the production of each video is not even like some high budget cinematic video. It is just a demonstration of the product with some commentary. How crazy is that? They were able to make one type of content over and over again and get thousands of views per post. The lesson here for you is to find what is working in your promotions and to double down on what works. The next dropshipping store is Meowington's, which is in the pet niche. They are successful as we can tell from their web traffic, which is at over 100,000 monthly visits according to SimilarWeb. As we can see, their site looks very branded and they have gone beyond just the typical dropshipping where you would basically sell a generic, unaltered product. What they have done is started selling their own merchandise. They probably stock up their products at this stage of their dropshipping business, but we can see that some of the products they sell are available with Sailhu Dropship AliExpress suppliers. Like this cat tree, that is also available on Sailhu Dropship as we can see here. However, they also have unique custom products like all these pet parent shirts. Now, if we check out their social media channels to reverse engineer how they became successful, we can see that they promoted in multiple social media channels. Their Facebook page has over a million likes, Instagram has hundreds of thousands of followers, and their Pinterest account has almost 20,000 followers. The lesson here is not to put all your eggs in one basket. In other words, don't put all your marketing efforts into one marketing channel. Instead, market in different channels like Meowington's did. The next dropship store on our list is this furniture store called Warmly. It's similar to our picture in a sense that they also are in the home improvement niche. However, this store focuses on lighting. They also have a ton of web traffic coming in every month with tens of thousands of visitors a month according to similar web. Now, many of their products seem to be stocked by them, especially with that kind of web traffic. They would need to keep their inventory for their products. However, some products, especially those that are lighting, can be found on sale who dropships AliExpress suppliers. 
For example, take a look at this lighting over here. We can also find it on sale through dropship and dropship it ourselves. Of course, if it is selling out quickly for them, they would have already transitioned away from dropshipping to keep up with the order volume. Another thing to take note is how branded their store is. This reinforces the importance of branding your dropshipping store. Even if you're not yet stocking any inventory, take the time to actually make your store look branded by buying samples, taking professional photographs, and designing your store to look branded. By the way, with their web traffic coupled with the price of their items, which are high ticket, they would certainly be making good profits. Now let's take a look at their social media channels to see how they got to where they are now. We can see that their Facebook is pretty empty and they don't have any Instagram and TikTok. So where are they getting their traffic from? They're getting their traffic from a social media channel that most dropshippers don't tap into, Pinterest. In their Pinterest account, we can see that this is where they promote their products and they have tens of thousands of followers there and millions of monthly views. If you're in a niche like Warmly, where the purchasing decision takes a little longer because items being sold are high ticket, it may be worth using Pinterest. Pinterest is where people get ideas on what they want. For example, if a person is planning to decorate their home, they would make a Pinterest board to come up with how they want their house to look and the things they want their house to have before purchasing all the items they want. As a result, the purchasing decision is a little longer because they are coming up with ideas on what products to purchase. Also, home products tend to be expensive, so it's hard to convince a buyer to make an impulse purchase for it, unlike with the other products of the other stores we featured in this video. For the other stores in this video, the products would be less than $100. With Warmly's products, the products could be priced above $100 just because of the nature of the product. As you know, high quality home products are not cheap. Even the cheapest category in Warmly is called under $200 because the products there are inherently expensive. The next dropshipping store is Inspire Uplift, which is a successful general store. Let's take a look at SimilarWeb again to determine this store's traffic. As we can see, they have over a million visits per month. It is very different from the ones we featured in this video so far, as this is a general store, which means they sell products in multiple niches. If we just take a look at their mouse lamp product here, we can see the same product in sale of dropships AliExpress listing. Even the photos are similar to that of the supplier's photos, and the markup of about $20 suggests that they are dropshipping it, because if they were buying in bulk, they would be able to command lower prices. Take note though that it is quite hard to brand and scale a general store because of the lack of branding. But again, it still does have a place in dropshipping, which is to test products. Once you've found a winning product with a general store, we advise to roll the product over to a branded store. Inspire Uplift was able to become successful by making the brand department store-like, which is great because it can sell to many niches. However, if your goal is to build a brand or household name, this might backfire on you. Anyway, let's reverse engineer their success by taking a look at their Facebook page. We will see that they don't have a focus on a particular niche or interest. However, they have a large following. Why is that? Well, if we scroll down their feed, we will notice that posts are mostly humorous posts and the language used is similar to that of internet memes. These products here, for example, tap into emotion by talking about something that their audience can relate to. Also, they make impulse purchases easy because their links would take the visitor to the product page and the products are affordable. As you can see, with all the products, they're low ticket products, unlike Warmly's products. So it's easy to convince someone to make an impulse purchase because it won't break the bank. Anyway, that's all the seven dropship stores. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of content and want us to make more of it. Also, if you want, you can sign up to Salehu. I'll leave a link to sign up in the description box below. Are you interested in finding products to dropship for the autumn and winter season? Check out this video here for nine winning products to dropship in that season. You can also check out this video here to learn 14 marketing tactics to drive sales to your dropshipping business. Thanks everyone, see you in the next video.